you know, with my own two eyes, you know, just him being out there and, you know, knocking down 10 in a row, 15 in a row, you know, that's that's what we need, you know, you know, from these guys as well, just shooting. So, you know, he definitely one, uh, one of the guys. Has anybody specifically, like, surprised you or, or maybe better or different than you they, you thought they'd be coming in? No, nah, I, I feel like, you know, all the freshmen, they, they work, they compete, you know, at the highest level, and all of them in freshmen, you know. Me coming in personally, I didn't believe, you know, you know, I got to see for myself, things like that. But when I came in here, like everybody was working, everybody, you know, had their own road that they, you know, started. So, you know, that's definitely what everybody just definitely that blew my mind when I came back. What about Ugana? I mean, obviously you got to see him in practice. Uh, we didn't get to see him much in games toward the end of the season. Mm -hmm. What do you, I think a lot of loads going to be on him this season with Oscar and all the other bigs gone. What, what do you think of his game and maybe where it's at now compared to this time last year? Uh, Ugana definitely got better, you know. I can see it for myself, like the way he works every day, the way he, the process that, you know, from last year to this summer, you know, I could just tell how better he's been, you know. So, you know, he definitely grew maturity as well. So, you know, those type of things that I see from him that, that we really need from uh, coming up this year. How, how good is he as a shot blocker right now? And is he the type of guy that maybe you you think twice about going in in, in these scrimmages, early practices? Yeah, there's a couple of times that I've got to block my shot in practice. So, I mean, like, you know, his, his like, ability to, you know, be long and athletic, you know, you really can't get that, that, that shot off on him, you know, without, you know, him being over there. So it's kind of difficult, you know, but we need that, you know, when you go against other opponents, so. Is that more like floaters or at the basket? What, what where is he best? I guess in that regard. I mean, I had a couple of floaters. He blocked my, but both of my <laughs> floaters. So, you know, me personally, I like floaters. But it seemed like when I try to get it up on him, he always seemed to get it. Yeah. So I be mean, like, well, it's 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 the layups too. You know, all, some of the guys, you know, I try to make it easy to layup blocks. So. Is that when you guys are playing perimeter defense? Is that kind of? I mean, I know you're probably not thinking of it in the moment, but mm. does that? give you a little like, oh, he's, if something happens, maybe I can go for a steal. Maybe I can take a little more chance because cause he's back there. Uh, I mean, we definitely got to stay with our principles, but you know, if if we know Gunner's in the game, you know, it's definitely give us a little coverage to do those type of things. You know, he's definitely a great shot blocker. You know, he was like top something in the early, early uh, process in the year when he was playing, you know, games and things like that. So, you know, he definitely can get, can get those, those block shots. Yesterday, one of the uh, freshmen mentioned your defense is one of the things they had to get used to at the college level. Are you oh, trying yes. to, to lock these kids down? Is that something you've been working on? Yeah, I got to get them ready because, you know, it's the league's getting older. It's a lot of guys that's older. That's, you know, 23, like my age, you know, things like that. So I definitely put that little shoulder on them and test on them <laughs> whenever they go to that rim. So just be like, yeah, it's, it's that when we get out here, you know. So, yeah, I tell the guys all the time, like, you know, I'm not going to take it easy on you. Whatever it takes to get you better, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I definitely do do those types of things we play. Cal mentioned that last week that when you came in last summer, you're kind of wide-eyed and getting used to everything, and now you're a little more vocal and you're the veteran. Is that something you're trying to be proactive about or it's just coming naturally because everyone around you is so new? No, it actually coming naturally. Um, just want that hunger in me that, that wanted to get better, you know, and – you know, being here one year, you are I can see like the growth I'm already having, you know. So, you know, just that just my mentality every day, just coming in and staying focused and you know, I got a little like a like young group around me too, so that definitely plays a part in it. What when you decided to pull out of the draft, there was still kind of that gap before we knew you were coming back here. I guess, I guess what was your thought process during that time? Were you thinking about possibly transferring somewhere else? Were you thinking about maybe a different pro route or, or what, what was going on there? No, it was really, you know, um, that I would keep that between me and my family. You know, I don't, you know, want to speak on that type of stuff. But, you know, just going through the process, trying to be a pro, um, you know, just going through, you know, just uh, workouts every day, you know, th things like that. And, you know, I really have too much in mind, but, you know, I always consider here first. You know, I definitely want to be here for a second year. Um, and, you know, that's that's what I wanted to do. So, yeah. Was what was the, I guess the communication level like with Cal and maybe some of the other coaches during that time? Were they was he understanding of, of what you were doing, or I guess how much did you talk to him before you kind of made that final final decision? Oh, I talked to him like once a week about you know the situation that I was in, you know. Um, but you know, I definitely had 
you know, talk to Chen and everybody, all the coaching staff, you know, just, you know, just, hey, how's the guys doing, you know, you know, looking into next year, you know, what's what's going to happen, things like that. So, yeah, we talk, we talk at least once a week. You said uh, kind of what these NBA teams wanted you to work on with them maybe being a little bit more physical, um, being more active on defense. What, what did they say they liked about your game? Uh, my shooting ability. You know, I they said I bring an NBA level shooting to, to uh, any team. Uh, the way, you know, I splash the floor, you know, guys got to get out on me. And um, definitely, you know, I can play, make a little bit, put the ball on the floor a little bit, but they want to see more of that too. So, you know, that's just this type of stuff they, they told me. It sounds like you are using that Noah shooting system a little more this year. Joey was just talking about how helpful that is with his shot. With all that information it gives you, are you seeing differences and knowing what to work on, or is that something you are relying on much? Uh, I already know I can shoot. Yeah. I don't really pay attention to that. Probably asking the wrong guy on that one. <laughs> you had the wrong guy. Like, I'm not going to change anything for no Noah or none of that, you know, but some of the guys say it worked for them, you know, just seeing, you know, um, what their height is, their depth is on the shot and things like that, but you know, t to me, all right, no, I'm sure. Well, let me re rephrase that. As the shooter, are you <laughs> yeah. excited to go back to Arkansas this year then since we'll talk about your oh, shot yeah. as that came out on the schedule here recently? Yeah, I can't wait to go <laughs> back there. You know, I'm trying to do the same thing, you know. <laughs> but, you know, but, yeah, just, you know, just competing and, you know, the crowd is crazy there, you know. Yeah. So, you know, I definitely can't wait to be there. And they, I think they come here too, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah. What, what did you learn going through the NBA draft process? Um, that what I learned is just get yourself prepared, uh, be a pro at, you know, just take care of your body. Cause I feel like, you know, it's 82 games, you know, it felt like with the workouts, it was workout, rest, workout, rest. It felt like it was the same thing a little bit. So, you know, with that, with that type thing going on, it felt like, you know, definitely just managing your body as you get older. Do you feel like that you, it was helpful to get the feedback from the NBA guys about what you need to work on, what they feel like your strengths and weaknesses are? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It definitely helped because, you know, every time it, it gives me like an urge or a grit every time I'm in practice. Like, you know, these guys at the next level say I got to play better defense. So I take that down there and, you know, try to do as much as possible, you know, try to get deflections, try to lock up on D, try to even get rebounds, be more physical down low. So, yeah. How just surreal was that process? I mean, two years ago, you're at Illinois State, and then you're testing the NBA draft waters and getting this information from the top level. Is that yeah. really helping your confidence going into a second year at Kentucky, just going through that? Yeah, just going through that definitely helped my confidence. Uh, you know, just being a workout is doing really good, too. You know, knowing I'm a pro, you know, knowing I'm doing good in NBA workouts, I'm like, yeah, you know, I'm getting better as a, as a player. So, you know, when I come back, you know, I definitely have a different side of me, you know, that I didn't know I had. How's practice gone? And, you know, a lot of new faces, a lot of new guys coming in and uh, living in the last couple of weeks. How's it been like just kind of like gelling with everybody? Uh, it's going pretty good so far. Uh, just, you know, getting back to the, in, in my groove, you know, just being able to be that older guy, be that leader, be more vocal and things like that. But, you know, these guys are competitive. They work really hard, you know, and you, you just tell on the floor, you know, how, how better they're getting, you know, each and every day. So. You know, we're just talking to uh, to Rob, and he's talking about like, how good of a shooter you are. I mean, this, this is a very talented group. Yeah. And you guys, are, everybody's talking about how they're unselfish. They trust their teammates. I mean, that's already, you know, before the game's even been played. Do you feel like that's been the case? Yeah, I feel like that's definitely been the case so far. You know, it's just them, you know, gelling together so fast. You know, that's all it's about, you know, just being brothers out there and, you know, looking for each other, you know. So I feel like, you know, just the the maturity they gain in each and every day is, is fast, you know, so it's definitely working out. What are you uh, expecting uh, from Toronto? Where, what are you expecting individually, I guess? Um, It's really, it, ah, my bad, just being a leader out there, uh, you know, still being me, still being, you know, Antonio at the end of the day, but, you know, looking out for the young guys, you know, just making sure, you know, um, Whatever they're doing wrong, whatever they don't know, you know, I'm there for them and, you know, provide for them as well. So, you know, just, and win the games. Definitely win all, all three games that we were playing. So, yeah. What was the, the feedback from OCLs when you, know, you were contemplating about the draft? What kind of things did they tell you that you feel like you want to apply to your game now? Uh, some things would be uh, just, you know, being able to gain weight, being able to 
uh, take those bumps when I'm out there. Um, being able to just be more active around the rim too. You know, just use uh, using my physical ability that I have. You know, that I haven't shown. Um, and you know, just being more active under the rim. But um, sort of in a good way. It's been fun. Yeah. What do you mean it's been a mess? It's just everywhere. <laughs> Lot to get together, right? Yeah, yeah. But how are things now? Feeling less yeah. messy? Settle down a little bit? Yeah, definitely, definitely settled in here, and I'm, I'm wow. enjoying it. And of course, as soon as you get settled down, they're like, pack your bags, we're going to Canada. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm excited for that actually. I mean, that, I think that'll be fun. You know, to play against some some pros. I mean, guys that are older than us probably prepare us pretty well for college basketball. How nice is it? I mean, you're far from home, but not too far. I'm sure once it gets going, parents will get to visit and all that. You like being a little close to Indiana? Yeah, I mean, that's kind of one of the things I, I wanted to be closer to home. Actually, my parents came and saw me yesterday. We just went out to eat and went shopping. But, uh, I mean, yeah, it's good that they can come down here sometimes if they need to, or I can drive back up there if I needed to. Were you familiar at all with Lexington and the, and the program before you uh, made the commitment? Uh, I was I was pretty familiar with Kentucky just because I've seen them everywhere. They win a lot of games, but uh, I wasn't really familiar with the like city of Lexington. How's practicing been going so far? You've got some some talented ball handlers uh, around you. Things going well? Yeah, I mean, we get better every day, I think. And practices are uh, really competitive. And uh, it's just a lot of talent on the team, I think. Have you found yourself uh, matched up with anyone in particular in these early phases? You guys are kind of just throwing teams together and scrimmaging to get ready? Yeah, we're kind of just throwing teams together and scrimmaging. I feel like everybody this week has told us how competitive it's been so far. Oh, yeah. What makes you feel like... You know, like, what makes you all say that? Well, because there's not a defined lineup yet, obviously, for the, for the teams. And every, you know, everybody wants to be in the starting lineup. Everybody wants to have a role. But uh, you got you to gotta compete for it. And um, Coach Cal said nothing's promised. Nobody, nobody is promised, like, a starting spot or anything like that. So everybody's working uh, to get a role. How much do you think Canada could help everyone sort of begin to figure out their roles? Um, I mean, I figured it probably helped pretty well, but I mean, it's always like interchangeable. I mean, we got a lot of talent on the team, but uh, yeah, I think Canada will help as far as uh, figuring out who can score and when they can score and what they can do in in an actual game. Has Calipari here and the coaching staff uh, said much to you individually about what your role will be, or right now is it just everybody? Let's figure out what we can before Canada. Uh, it's. What you just said. <laughs> kind of just figure out what we can. Awesome. Thanks, Joey. Yeah, no problem. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Tell too. me a little bit about this fancy Noah shooting machine you all have on the wall there. Are you using that a lot? Or? Yeah, I use that every time I every time I work out. I use that. I mean, it's helped my shot a lot. Um, kind of lowered my arc a little bit, and I'm shooting the ball kind of deeper into the mm -hmm. basket. Just making more shots overall, been more consistent. Had you worked with anything that advanced before? I haven't seen it, but it looks yeah. insane from the outside looking in. Uh, the most advanced thing I've worked with was the uh, shooting gun. It rebounded for me, but uh, the no is just a different level. So so far, you're you're really noticing a difference, and it's kind of teaching you what to key in, key yeah. in on. Yeah. Uh, a lot was made also of your your vertical when you first got to campus. Uh, <laughs> Yesterday, I was talking to your teammate, Justin. He was talking about how he's already tried to dunk on Uganda. He even mentioned he might try to dunk on you yet. He tried to dunk on me twice. I don't know what, <laughs> I don't know what that's about. He missed, he missed both times, so I, I guess it doesn't count. He did admit that, but I was asking if that him or now you, if there's been any highlight real plays anyone's made so far that you've seen, if it wasn't you and robbed any, anybody done anything really uh, unique that you've seen so far? Uh, there's a high right, highlight real play every, every practice somewhere. <laughs> I mean, just a lot of talent out there. I know you're one of many new guys, and you're all figuring out. But you've got a couple guys who were here last year: uh, Ugo, Ghana. You've even got Kareem Brennan. Are they helping? At least showing you around campus and getting you familiar with everything. Yeah, I mean, they've also they've really helped in practice, like as far as like learning drills, learning learning moves. I mean, we're not really running plays yet, but we're kind of figuring out how how to play the offense and how to do the dribble drive type thing. And um, they've helped a lot as far as that goes. Yeah. Well, um, you know, you're kind of a Late commitment, having been committed to another school. So you're here at UK wearing the shirt. You're walking these hallways and seeing Anthony Davis and all the stuff on the wall. Was there like a little pinch me when you got here with the bags and how quickly things moved to get you here? Oh, yeah. I mean, even on the visit, I was like, this place is crazy. <laughs> and um, I mean, I knew as soon as I got here, this is where I wanted to be. Um, and uh, talking to Coach Cal, 
that I just knew right then that's I needed to come here to play. But yeah, I was definitely a little uh, in awe when I kind of just saw everything. Yeah, there's a few guys on that hallway that shows you that the yeah. path is possible there. Yeah. Well, nice chat with you.